If all you do is pass through Heartside, you probably don't notice how much time EMS crews spend here, often on non-emergency calls. Now there's a new push to cut down on those, and Grand Rapids Police and Fire say it's critical to everyone's health that we find a way. Oh, you gotta zip up your coat. Is it not it's working? Broke. These are the interrogations Officer Jenny Rude conducts. How are you doing for the winter? Do you need any hats or um, gloves? If you don't get any, let me know. I'll hook you up with some, okay? She's awesome. It was cold last night, wasn't it? Yep. That's why she didn't melt the, the hot side. Was it pretty busy down at Mal's last night? She helped me a lot. I find it very interesting. I feel that everyone has a backstory. Rude tries to get to know the people those stories shape. Are you feeling okay? No. No? So they're going to take you up to St. Mary's? Yeah, I guess. Especially those known as super users of emergency services, usually homeless, often in crisis. I live down by the river. You in my car. You can drive it. I am homeless. Back to this patient in a minute, but first, the backstory to this story. Michigan couple allowed our cameras to document their lives, changed forever last summer by a bug bite they never even noticed. As Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports, while serious illness is rare, the virus is real and it's here. We've spent a lot of summers right here on this porch. Jordan Zimmerman is cruised. Often listening to a Tigers game. Never once did they imagine. Watching the fireflies at night. Their piece of paradise. Until the sun went down. Might harbor danger. It is ironic. We sat here last year thinking, it's so beautiful out here. Mosquitoes never bother us. But apparently, <laughs> there was at least one. Al Walzak was a healthy, active, guitar-playing retiree. He spent his career in international studies traveling the world, but not last summer. The virus-carrying mosquito that nearly killed the 67-year-old struck right here in Grand Rapids, likely in Walzak's own front yard on the city's west side. That was scary. Walzak himself only remembers blurry bits and pieces of what started with headaches and dizziness. And I remember telling Joy, you know, I, I don't know what's happening. You know. I'm sorry, I walk fast. I always walk fast. It's a grueling race. I dread doing this every day. Body clock always ticking. Excuse me, ma'am. Is there any way for any change or any help? Get cash for the next fix or get sick. I do it every day. I mean, it's it's like I'm a professional freaking beggar. It's a full-time job funding his daily heroin habit. Is there any way you leave for any change or any help? I'm trying to get some bus money, maybe something to eat. Like anything would help me a lot. Tyler Trowbridge, 33 years old and homeless, let Target 8 tail him. Excuse me, you leave for any change. The job site this day, Centerpoint Mall in Grand Rapids. It's okay, I'm sorry to ask. I hate being out here. You have a good day. Excuse me, sir? Excuse me? Man, I can't believe how bad I'm doing. It's crazy, I'm bragging about how good I am. I haven't made all I've done to scare everyone. But then. Thank you. Thank you so much. That would be awesome. I'd really, really appreciate it. Within 45 minutes. So I got, I got 30 bucks. I'm gonna call my man and have him meet me there. One hour, a quick nap, and a drug deal later, Trowbridge hit the bathroom of a nearby restaurant. Do you think anybody's going to learn anything from watching you? Oh, so this is, isn't the life. This is terrible. If you need property records in Kent County, this is the place to go, the Register of Deeds office. For nearly two decades, you would have found this woman behind the counter here. For most of that time, Ruth Rondon guarded a secret. At first, when I first started working, I was so afraid somebody was gonna expose my past. These are uh, your motions. But today, she's illuminating the darkest moments of her life so that others might see the light. You may proceed now. Your Honor, I've done a lot of inner work trying to heal from everything that I've been through. It takes a long time to recover from 18 years of being trafficked. 
Now 63 and retired, Rondon was determined the system that once locked her up would finally set her free by erasing the prostitution convictions that haunted her for decades. A 2015 state law lets victims of human trafficking get certain convictions expunged, 